Hello to my 13 subscribers that watch my videos, but they probably don't even watch my videos. Half of them are probably robots. They're probably the robots that say, go to sexyadultschatonline.com um, in the comments and uh, stuff like that. They're obviously bot accounts. They might, some of those might be subscribing somehow, and there's no way I can really stop that from happening. Whatever, I don't care. Um, today I'm going to be call talking about um, very briefly, this apparently new holiday called Kinos Day, and um, yeah, I'm sure you are already know what that is. Um, I hope you enjoy this awful, awful uh, animation of the mouth because it's plotted on, and I can't use my actual camera because it literally freezes. It's frozen half the time I'm recording, so it'd just be better to use something stupid like this to record my voice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know, it's still dumb, but whatever. Yeah, anyways, um, on December 14th, Kim, the Kino's verification video from Nepesta was uploaded to YouTube. The infamous reaction, you know, that everyone went crazy over and PewDiePie looked at and called him an impossible game speedrunner because, well, he's an idiot. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. I, I say, uh, yeah, a lot in these videos because I don't know what to say, especially because I'm tired, because it's later in the night than usual when I would make these really dumb videos talking about stupid stuff. Yeah, um, Nepesta, as obviously I would like to say congratulations to you, even though you literally verified Kanos, um, nearly a year ago now, as of f December 14th, which is nine, five days from me filming, um, not filming, but making this video. You will, it will, will be the anniversary of the verification of Kinos, which will be ridiculous to, ridiculous to even think. Like, ser seriously, how can 2019 already be a year ago now? It does not feel like it's been a year ago now. Probably because 2020 has just been so horrible, we've blocked, like, more than half of it out of our minds and pretended it didn't exist, and we're pretending it's only been about six months instead of 12. But no, it's almost been 12 months. We're almost at the end of the worst year of all time. And even if, even though the pandemic still going to be going on, obviously, in 2021, it's not like those advertisements pretending that the pandemic's suddenly going to disappear simply because it's a new year. That's stupid. That's a stupid conspiracy theory. Um, it sounds like from the people who would say the coronavirus is fake and f made by the government to scare people. But anyways, yeah, um, I still think 2021 still going to be a better year than this, hopefully. If not, then... And if not, then 2022 is probably going to be even worse than 2021 because I'm a negative Nancy, even though my name is not Nancy, obviously. <laughs> and if you do even dare call me Nancy, which by the way you shouldn't, you will suffer my wrath and you will not like it, so yeah, don't. Anyways, yeah, I'm not going to use this as a, an excuse to rant about all the stupid shit that's been, that went on with the pesto with the whole... Lime, or whatever his name is, situation with the whole N word thing and the challenge level to try and piss him off and try and get him banned from Twitch because Twitch is an absolute dog shit platform that can literally ban you for no joke, no reason. And even though this isn't a rant on Twitch, I'm gonna turn it into a rant on Twitch for like 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, Twitch, fuck you, you give me a dick. Um, lol, fuck you, and yeah, I know I sound like a, someone who's salty because he got a Twitch, because he, he got a Switch account banned, but I didn't, I don't have a Twitch channel, but I know that you are literally, someone uh, uh, who's a Twitch moderator could be having a bad day and decide to just take it out on 50 people by permanently terminating their channel, it's just that terrible, they don't need to have a reason, they could just do it whenever they want. But anyways, yeah, I would like to say, um, one year later, happy anniversary, Kino's verification, even though it's five days early, I'm doing it now, because I'll probably forget on the day Kino's birthday. What I want to do is I want to film a video, um, where it's about to turn to 12 a.m. on December 13th, and film the, and make it so it's one of those videos like on New Year's where it's a stupid meme as soon as it hits New Year's. Remember those things? Get ready for those this year. I don't know what they're going to do this time. It's going to be 
probably just as stupid. I'll also, Sprite Cranberry is back, and I predicted it, even though I didn't mention it on this channel. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to do one of those stupid meme videos, except it's going to be on the anniversary of the Kinos video, Kinos verification video. And like I said, I would like to congratulate Nepesta for like the 5,000th time. I know that you um, suffered anal, anal torture to beat it. And it took eight months of his, it took eight months, like 300 hours or whatever he said in the video to beat it. And I was like, and even though this is a year later, now he can, now even him, now even himself can go back looking on it and just laugh at it. He will still, um, uh, never get rid of the scars of pain from dying at the 70 wave XD. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, and I saw the comments of the keynote certification video, and some and someone else is doing what I doing what I said, saying, uh, yeah, get ready for Kino Day, boys. Yeah, that's why I called it Kino Day because that's apparently what's going to be called. Pretty generic name, uh, NGL, but I don't really care. But I was so I replied with the other two people that replied I was like fuck yeah like, happy keynote day even though it's five days from now it's gonna become a real holiday let's make this a real thing where everyone tries to beat keynote and no one will because well um, who the hell's gonna beat a top five in, in in one day just for the hell of it um, no one no one no one and also no one. I also find it to be kind of funny how Combined dropped it after dying at the last part twice in a row, which Nepesta did not die to die to once. I can't imagine his reaction if he died to that part. It would probably even be even more insane than the Kino's reaction we have today. It's ridiculous how Combined died to the very last click thing twice in a row. Actually, I'm pretty sure the reason why Nepesta didn't die to it, he might have removed it or something, but who cares. Um, anyways, anyways, yeah. It's funny how Combined dropped the level and the Pesta verified it, and then the same thing happened with Ultra Alter Descent. He just dropped the level eventually because he gave up on it, and then the Pesta verified it again. <laughs> I got a leg spike! Okay, that was the most cringy accent I could ever do in my entire life, because I have no way to be funny um, when it's nearly 1 a.m. at 1 in the morning. I'm gonna go to bed right after making this because, well, I, I, I should, and also I also should. But yeah, to end this off, I'm just gonna say once again, I cannot believe it's been almost a year since um, the thing that made Nepesta's channel pretty much blow up occurred, you know, with all the memers and stuff like that. The whole Black Emoji speedrun thing where the guy apologized for making it or whatever. It was just... And, and people realize now the mental state he was in. Back then, they just didn't realize it. it was like, lol, funny reaction. But now they realize that um, he, he even though he was happy, he was also just going insane from the fact that he finally just has this absolute fucking burden off of his shoulders. I'm not saying Kinos is a bad level, but when you play a level for eight months straight, adding up to over like, over, like, two weeks worth of time spent on it, it's just... How are you supposed to like it anymore? You, you, I would go insane too if I was that good at the game, which I'm not, and I never will be. Um, Self-deprecation, yes. But yeah, nowadays we do realize um, that, yeah, he was indeed crying back then. Um, obviously, we already realized that, but I don't think anyone realized how serious that his crying was. It's just, and even though I don't care at all about Daco, it, it's really similar to the Daco reaction. He broke down crying over beating fucking whatever the hell 20 mode on Ultimate Custom Night. I don't even know how many there was. I don't, I don't give a shit. But I remember... I remember the one, I remember when I was 12 or 13, I, I would, well, okay, well, I think it was 13, I was on the streams every single goddamn day he was streaming it, and on the one day he beat it, I wasn't watching the stream, I think I left like an hour before he beat it, and I was mad about that, and I'm sure a lot of people can be, can hashtag relate and stuff like that, and then the DACA reaction thing became a meme, very similar to the Pesto reaction, almost exactly the same thing. And that's the one part I don't think anyone realizes, is that anyone having a reaction where they break down and cry from joy and also pain and stuff like that, it's gonna become a gigantic ass meme. And anyone, it's just, that's just how the world works these days. <laughs> it, it will always work that way. 
unless the internet gets shut down by some douchebag in, in too much power in the government or something. Uh, but I am not Alex Jones. I am a 15-year-old fucking bubble beef furry, um, fat, fat fetishist, inflation fascist, even though, no, I do not want to become fat because I do not want to die of diabetes. Um, diabetes. Diabetes. You will die from the diabetes. Okay, this is, this is not funny. Why am I doing this? Yeah, okay. in every single one of these videos, I struggle with I, I struggle with actually ending the video. I, I suck at actually ending anything. I say, okay, well, I'm going to go now, bye, also this, also that, and then we talk for ten more minutes. And it's like, now I'm actually going to go, but then I find an excuse not to. The same thing here, I find an excuse to keep on talking, because like, actually, wait, I have this to talk about? So, I'm just going to end it here, uh, maybe, unless I change my mind midway through talking. Yeah, um, anyways, once again, congratulations on your anniversary of beating Kino Snapesta. Uh, have a, have a very good Kinos day, because you are the king of Kinos. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah,